Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today, we're looking at tractors. Where do you think you could find a tractor? That's correct, on a farm. Tractors are slow, but very strong. They can be used for all sorts of jobs. Like hauling grain. Or plowing a field. Or perhaps even to move machinery. Tractors can also be used to spread dirt or manure around a field. Some tractors can be used for fun, like taking a joyride. Would you like to go on a tractor ride? There are small tractors that are good for wineries. that can easily fit between the rows of grapes and really big tractors with large wheels. Tractors come in lots of colors. There are red tractors, blue tractors, yellow tractors, and there are green tractors with yellow wheels. What's your favorite color tractor? Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Today, we're going to a farm. Have you been to a farm before? Here's a farm with a large field of maize. It's ready to harvest. The farmer uses a big yellow combine harvester to collect the rows of maize. Can you see the silver pointy section at the front? That's the header. Through the field, the combine harvester travels, chomping up the maize as it goes. Maize is like corn. They use it to feed cows. High up in the cabin, you can see the silver and yellow header as it sucks up the grain. Carefully, the driver steers the combine harvester along the straight rows of maize. Behind him, the grain tank begins to fill up. And out the back, a cloud of waste spreads out as the combine drives away. This is good for the soil. Then, out swings the auger, like an elephant trunk. And here comes a tractor and trailer to take the maize away. The maize pours out of the auger and into the trailer. That's a lot of maize. Once the trailer is full, the tractor can continue on its way. Thanks, combine harvester, for collecting all the grain, it says. Through the field drives the tractor. Using a forklift with a telescopic arm and shovel, they load all the maize into a semi-trailer. Wow, look at the roof close on the top of the truck. And away the truck goes, off to feed some hungry cows. Hooroo! Hi kids, Reggie Roo here. What has a really fast spinning rotor with blades that lift it into the air? A helicopter! Here is a blue helicopter, ready to go on a scenic flight. Can you see the rotor spin? At the tail of the helicopter is the tail rotor. This helps the helicopter stay straight and not spin around and around. And up into the air goes the blue chopper. And away it goes, 
From up high in the helicopter, you can see down the beautiful beach below. Look at the helicopter fly through the air. Swish, 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 swish goes the white helicopter as it flies past. Helicopters are very clever. They can land and take off almost anywhere. That's because they can go straight up and down. They can also hover in midair. Wow, look at that red helicopter spin and then fly away. There are lots of different helicopters. Here is a large yellow medical helicopter hovering. It's like a flying ambulance. It is much bigger than the helicopters we saw before. Away flies the big helicopter, into the sunset. Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. What do you think we're looking at today? It's big, it's shiny, and it's yellow. It's a school bus. There goes the school bus, driving out of the garage. The bus is on its way to pick up the children for school. The driver carefully steers the bus through the streets. It's fun to ride the bus to school. When the bus stops, a red stop sign pops out and bright lights flash to warn the drivers behind. Always be very careful and look out for other cars when you catch the bus. You can see the yellow school buses in North America. In other countries, children also catch buses to school, but they might not be yellow. Finally, the bus arrives at school. Everyone flies off, ready for another day of learning. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you ever seen a concrete mixer truck before? Yes? A concrete mixer has a large drum on the back that spins. Can you see the drum spin? Inside the drum, the truck mixes cement, sand, gravel, and water to make gluggy, wet concrete. The wet concrete is ready to be delivered to a building site. The drum keeps spinning, making sure the concrete doesn't dry out. At the building site, they pour the concrete out. And the builders spread the wet concrete around using trowels. For hard to reach places, Concrete mixers get help from a concrete pump. A concrete pump has a large extendable boom arm with a hose. It sucks up the concrete from the mixer and pours it out of the hose. Now the builder can reach a really large area. Out pours the wet concrete. Splodge, splodge. All that wet concrete is very messy, isn't it? Lucky the builder has big Wellington boots and a strong apron. Finally, they make the surface nice and smooth.
Did you know that when concrete dries, it becomes as hard as rock? Have you ever walked on a concrete path? Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. With bright flashing lights and loud sirens, it's exciting to watch a fire truck whiz past. Beep, beep. The big red fire truck races away. You know what they carry on a fire truck. Well, there are firefighters on board who carry large hoses. There are lots of different nozzles for the hoses. Ladders that help the firefighters climb buildings. And axes and tools for cutting. There are blue flashing lights and there are red flashing lights. When a fire truck gets to a fire, the intaker sucks up water from a hydrant and the discharger pushes the water through the hose. A hard suction hose can suck water from a pool or lake if there isn't a hydrant around. Now the firefighters can put out the fire with the water. Would you like to be a firefighter when you grow up? It would be fun to ride on a fire truck. Hooroo! Hello everyone. It's Reggie Roo here. Where do you think all the rubbish and recycling from your bin goes? Well, the rubbish man comes along in a big rubbish truck and takes it all the way to the dump. Look, there goes a noisy rubbish truck. And here's the rubbish man. He looks carefully in both directions before crossing the street. He loads the bin. The truck lifts it up and dumps the rubbish into the compactor. And off he goes to return the empty bin and pick up another one full of rubbish. They're collecting garden waste today. The truck has lots of flashing orange lights. Can you see where the rubbish goes at the back? This is a rear-loading rubbish truck. The truck and the rubbish men continue working as a team. Through the streets they go, collecting all the rubbish from the rubbish bins. Wow, this is exciting. The truck reverses up the narrow street. Beep, beep, beep. See the bin get lifted upside down? The rubbish falls into the truck and gets squashed by the compactor. It's fun to watch the rubbish truck go past. Do you ever hear the rubbish truck coming? The whirr of the engine or the clink clank of the emptying bottles. There are lots of bins to be emptied today. They need two rubbish trucks to collect them all. And away go the truck and the rubbish men in search of more rubbish. Hooroo! Hi there, it's Reggie Roo here. What's tall, red, and has big wheels that go round and round? It's a big red double-decker bus, of course. Can you see the big red bus? It's arriving at a bus stop. The passengers get up onto the bus. Do you sometimes catch the bus? And away it goes, down the street and past the cars. Along the way, the bus stops again and again, picking people up and dropping people off. Through the street it continues. Isn't it busy today? Over the canal it goes and under the big blue bridge. The driver has to watch out for cars and bikes on the road. 
At the back, the bus conductor collects the passengers' tickets. Over the river the bus goes, past a group of people on kayaks. Can you see the two levels on the bus? It's almost as tall as a building. And you can ride on the top deck too. That's why it's called a double-decker bus. This bus goes past Westminster Abbey, Big Ben, and even Tower Bridge, which is sometimes called London Bridge by mistake. Wouldn't it be fun to ride on a double-decker bus? Hooroo! Good day, Reggie Roo here. What has two wheels and a loud engine? A motorcycle. Here is a silver motorcycle. And here is a motorcycle rider. He puts his helmet on, making sure it's fastened tight. Hi, Mick. Today, he's taking his motorcycle out for a ride. The keys go in the ignition, and he starts the motorcycle. Vroom, vroom, goes the bike as he revs the engine. Mick is also wearing a protective black leather jacket and big boots. And down the street he goes. Along the bridge. And over the river. Motorcycles have two wheels. And handlebars at the front for steering. Have you seen a motorcycle before? Here comes Mick, back from his ride. Hello. He pulls the motorcycle into the parking space. Slowly reversing up to the curb, ready for his next ride. Bye, Mick. And bye, kids. Hooroo. Hi, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Have you caught a train before? Have you caught one that goes under the ground? They're called underground trains, and they travel under the city, through the metro or subway. Here are some people at the station. And here comes the train. Whoosh. The automatic doors open, and everyone gets onto the train. The doors close, and away goes the train. Does your mom or dad catch the train to work? The train travels along. Sometimes it's outside, and then it goes underground and into the tunnel. Here is an underground station, way down beneath the street. See the people waiting for the train. It screeches to a stop. And more passengers get on and off. The doors close, and away it goes off to the next station. The train moves away quickly. Make sure you stand back. That was fun. Hooroo! Hi everyone, it's Reggie Roo here. Today, we're in the mountains. What slides through the mountains like a snake? A train does. And there's the train station. And look, there's the train. And away it goes. A big green train. Along the rails and past a little village. The green train 
gently begins to climb the mountain. Looking out the window is fun. Now you can see the village way down in the valley below. The train winds through the mountains. Higher and higher it goes. Where do you think it's off to? Over the river now, and past the waterfall. There are lots of people on the train. All of them are looking out the window to see the beautiful countryside. Would you like to be on this train too? High up in the mountains, there aren't many buildings or cars. Just the green train. Ahead is a tunnel. Is the train going to go into the tunnel? Yes, in it goes. To the right, you can see out of the tunnel to the valley below. Toot toot, as the train is coming out of the tunnel. There goes the conductor, checking the tickets. Looks like we have a quick stop. What a pretty waterfall. The train's on the move again. Climbing high up in the mountains once more. It looks very small against the big mountain. I think we can see our destination. The green train pulls into the station high up on the mountain. Everyone unloads their gear. Some of the people have bicycles, while others are getting on the train now to catch it down to the bottom. Do you think they want to see the pretty countryside and waterfall too? The train is off once more. Bye bye train. Bye bye boys and girls. Huru. Hello everyone, it's Reggie Roo here. Do you know what a ferry is? A ferry is a boat used to carry people, cars, and cargo across water. They come in all sizes. Here comes a large black ferry with some people on board. Can you see them wave? Hello! The water is very calm today. You can see a reflection of the ferry in the water. The ferry glides slowly into the harbour. The harbour is where the ferry stops. Looks like this ferry is resting here for the night. Have you ever caught a ferry? Long comes the black ferry again. This time, it's stopping at a dock. The hull opens up like a giant mouth so the people can get on and off. Wow. Look at the hull close. Jump. Now, a big blue ferry opens up its hull. Do you think they should get on? Yes, on they get. The ferry sails along the beautiful fjord. A fjord is a water inlet that is very deep and has very high sides. There's the captain steering the ferry. The people can sit inside or up on the top deck to watch the scenery go past. The ferry is going to drop some of the people off now. The captain carefully steers the ferry into the dock. A perfect landing and the people all walk off. Now the ferry motors away, followed by a lot of noisy seagulls. The blue ferry disappears behind the clouds. Huru! Good day, boys and girls. 
Reggie Roo here. Have you ever imagined floating way up in the air? Like a hot air balloon does? Early in the morning, they begin to fill up the balloons with hot air. The pilot uses a big fan and a loud burner to fill the balloon. The hot air makes the balloon float. The burners also make the balloons glow in the dark. Doesn't that look great? Can you see the flames from the burners? Wow. One of the hot air balloons begins to float up. The pilot sits in the basket and controls the burner. His colorful balloon goes higher and higher. The burner makes lots of noise. There are lots of different types of balloons. Here is one in the mountains that is shaped like a bumblebee. They are very colorful. High above the fields and trees, the purple and red balloon sails away. Do you think it would be fun to float along in a hot air balloon? Yes, me too. Uru. Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. You are in for a treat today. Have you ever seen a space shuttle? There's the shuttle on the launch pad. It's about to launch. Everyone at Mission Control is ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lift off! blasts out of the engine and the smoke billows out as the shuttle powers into the sky. The shuttle is made up of a large orange fuel tank, two thin white rocket boosters, and the part that looks like a plane is called an orbiter. Soon after, the two white boosters drop off and fall into the ocean. A special boat picks them up as the shuttle continues into space. The shuttle is used to carry astronauts and equipment to the International Space Station, which rotates high above the Earth below. Inside the space station, the astronauts conduct experiments as they float around. Later, they use the orbiter to get back down to Earth. Glides back like a plane. Speed now 320 miles per hour. Here's down and locked. Touchdown. The parachute at the back helps the orbiter slow down. Isn't that exciting? Would you like to be an astronaut and go into space? Yes, I would too. The astronauts are back, safely on the ground. Hooroo! G'day girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. What can float on water? but also fly. A seaplane can. A seaplane has big floats on the bottom instead of wheels. Therefore, a seaplane can float just like a boat. They use calm bodies of water, like a lake or a river, as a runway, which means they can land in places where there are no runways, like high up on a remote mountain lake. Seaplanes can also dock at a harbor just like a boat. Here's a seaplane motoring through the water. Is it about to take off? Yes, it is. The propeller speeds up, the water begins to splash and spray, and take off. And away it flies, high above the buildings and ships. The seaplane soars through the sky like a bird. Out of the clouds comes the seaplane. Would you like to see it land on the lake? Looks like it's coming into land now. And... Splash! 
the seaplane touches down on the water. Did you know that some airplanes could take off and land on water? Aren't seaplanes clever? Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What's everyone's favorite earth mover? A digger, of course. They're great for moving lots of dirt. Here is a yellow digger scooping up some dirt. His friend, the dump truck, reverses up slowly. The shovel lifts up and the dirt piles into the back of the dump truck. Look how the digger can spin all the way around. Did you know diggers are also called excavators? Can you say excavator? Ex ca bay ter excavator. The excavator scratches at the ground and lifts up the dirt like a giant hand. Oops, don't spill it. Away goes the dump truck with a full load of dirt in the back. Can you see how many wheels the dump truck has? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six big wheels. He'll be back for more soon. And so will I. Hooroo. Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Hooray! We're back at the farm again today. Would you like to see how the farmer feeds a whole shed of cows? I would too. Here comes the farmer, Carl. Carl is driving a large forklift with a telescopic arm. He attaches the shovel and begins scooping up the silage. Then he drops it into the red feeder. Silage is a mixture of different grass crops, maize, and cereals. The cows think it's yummy. Would you like to eat some too? No, that's silly. Using the green tractor, he pulls out the red feeder full of yummy silage for the cows. The feeder pulls up beside the cows. Look, here comes breakfast, says one of the hungry black cows. What's going to happen? Wow, the silage pours out. Careful you don't get hit in the head, girls, says another cow. Back and forth goes the noisy tractor. That's a lot of food. The silage jumps out the top as the feeder goes past. Look at how happy they are now, points out Eloise. Jump, jump, jump. Here comes young Purdy. She's helping to feed the cows. Thank you, Purdy. Moo. Now, Carl uses the forklift to get some straw for dessert. Lucky cows. He dumps the straw into the feeder and cuts the string. The straw chopper sprays the straw behind the cows. It goes over the top of the cows and some gets on the cow's back. Oops. Thanks, Carl, for the yummy dessert, say the cows. Hmm. Now I'm hungry. Hooroo! Good day, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Do you like diggers? Have you ever seen one with a hydraulic breaker on its arm? There's a digger with a breaker. The digger uses the breaker to hammer into the concrete footpath. Tap, 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 it goes. They are breaking up the concrete so the workmen can build a new footpath. The breaker scratches, scrapes, and hammers away. Can you see the ground shake? Oh! The digger lifts up a large piece of concrete and pushes it to the side. The workman helps by showing the best place to hammer. Tap, tap, tap. 
the pavement gets broken into tiny pieces. In the digger cabin, a man controls the digger arm and breaker. It's very loud, isn't it? Now, the workman uses a level to make sure the new pavement will be flat with no bumps to trip on. The clever digger can spin all the way around and hammer on the other side too. Can you see the man in the cabin controlling the digger? And off the digger drives. The workmen have had a busy day preparing the footpath for the new pavement. Hooroo! Good day, boys and girls. It's Reggie Roo here. How do workmen fix things that are really high up? Well, they could use a telescopic boom. Here is a red telescopic boom. Can you see the worker on the platform? He's using the controls to move the boom up and to the side and up again. Look how big it is. The boom is as tall as the building. Would you like to be up high on a telescopic boom? Or would you be too scared? The boom has a very long extendable arm and a base with wheels. The worker now moves the boom across so he can work on a different part of the building. He is very careful. Look at him now. Do you think he could get that high without a boom? No. The big red boom swings to the left, and the arm lowers down. The boom is very big. It almost takes up the whole street. Down goes the man. He's finished his work. With the help of his telescopic boom, of course. Hooroo! Hi, everyone. It's Reggie Roo here. We're off to visit a building site today. What's that, boys and girls? That's right. It's a truck. But it's a special type of truck called a grab lorry. A grab lorry is used on building sites to move things. This grab lorry is moving dirt. The arm swings around, the claw opens, and the dirt drops onto the truck. The man is using the controls to move the arm and grab the dirt. Can you see the arm moving? There's a lot of dirt to remove from the building site today. Wow. Look at the claw spin around. The driver pats down the dirt. That way, no dirt flies out of the truck when the truck drives off. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He shakes the claw to get all the remaining dirt out. Then he places the arm on top. Now, the grab lorry is ready to drive away. He jumps up into the front to take all the dirt away. They must have picked up a lot of dirt. Do you wish you could grab that much dirt? Look at the big hole left behind. Hooroo! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Do you know what a bicycle is? They are also called bikes or cycles. A bicycle has a saddle, two wheels, handlebars, pedals, and a chain that spins. They're made for riding. Have you ridden a bike before? You might have a small bike. Let's have a look at some people riding bikes. And away they go. The cyclists pedal hard on the bikes. Their feet go up and down to make the bike go faster. They all ride together 
in a big group called a peloton. Here comes the peloton. Wow, that's a lot of bikes. Can you say bicycle? Bi -si -cle. Bicycle. Here they come. Whoosh! As they fly past on each side. Hurry up, Willie, they're getting away. They have lots of colorful clothes. Look, Jamie has an orange bike. I bet it's fast. It's a long day riding for everyone. And here's the finish. Everyone is cheering the riders home. Well done! Under the finish line they go. Cycling is fun. Two thumbs up from Hanlon. Hooroo! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. What's like a motorbike, but has four wheels like a car? A quad bike. Farmers often use quad bikes. They're great for getting to places where cars don't go. Along a dusty road goes the farmer on his quad bike. Quad bikes are also called all-terrain vehicles or ATVs. This is because they can go almost anywhere, like over this creek and down the steep dirt track. The operators always make sure to wear a helmet. Here, a group of ATVs. They kick up a lot of dust, don't they? This farmer used his red quad bike so he can fix the farm's fence. It's a long way from the road. Lucky he has a quad bike to get there. Quad bikes can also be used to have some fun. On to the sand dunes they ride. And into the air. Woo-hoo! Watch out. Here they come. Whoosh. They look like they're having a great time. Hooroo. Feel free to comment below. What would you like to see next? And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everyone. Do you know your alphabet? It starts with A. A is for aeroplane, high up in the sky. B. B is for bus. Brum, brum, brum. C. C is for combine harvester, chomping up the crop. D. D is for digger, playing in the dirt. E. E is for engine, like a steam engine. Toot toot. F. F is for fjord ferry. What a lovely day. G. G is for garbage truck. Gobbling up the trash. H. H is for hot air balloon. Shh. Shh. I. I is for ice skating. Or even ice racing. J. J is for jet ski, skimming along. K. K is for kite surfing. Whee! L. L is for lawnmower. Chop, chop, chop. M. M is for motorbike. Good day, Mick. N. N is for naval vessel. O. O is for oil tanker. Gee, that's big. P. P is for police car. Nino, 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 Nino. Q. Q is for quad bike. That looks fun. R. R is for rocket. Heading to the moon. S. S is for seaplane. Landing on water. T. T is for tram. It goes on a track. U. U is for underground train. Watch out below. V. V is for van. Driving through the snow. W. 
W is for wagon, being pulled by a horse. X. X can be found at the railway crossing. Look for the train. Y. Y is for yacht, sailing on the sea. And Z. Z is for a zigzagging skier. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Do you have a train set? There are many different types of trains. Like freight trains, which are very strong. Here is a big orange freight train pulling lots of colorful carriages. Here comes another freight train. Toot toot. Wow. Freight trains pull lots of wagons full of cargo. This one is loaded with containers. They carry all sorts of cargo. The cargo can be loaded from a factory, warehouse, or a mine. Here is a freight train leaving a seaport. They will often travel long distances to deliver their important goods. Through the countryside chugs the powerful freight train. They're like a semi-trailer truck on rails. The train is very long. This yellow freight train has two engines pulling the heavy wagons. It could be carrying food, liquids, grains, machine parts, minerals and rocks, metals, retail products, or even toys. Have you seen a freight train before? Aren't they impressive? Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What's a flying machine? that soars high in the air like a bird. Is it a train? No, it's a plane. There are fast planes. Whoosh. There are small planes. There are big planes. And there are even tall ones. There are colorful biplanes flying in formation and jumbo jets being loaded with luggage ready for vacation. There are planes with jets and planes with propellers. Yet, they all have wings and they all have a tail. Some planes can even deliver the mail. They can land on water or drop it on a fire. It seems there's a plane for your every desire. Above the clouds they fly. Look at the plane's shadow below. Wow, to be so high must be a great show. An airplane truly is one of the awesome things that go. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Today, we're looking at big trucks. Semi-trailer trucks are the kings of the road. They're made up of two parts. The large truck with a powerful engine at the front and a trailer that attaches to the back. The trailer can be loaded with all sorts of things. Grain, food, or even a huge rocket. <laughs> Here's a small forklift, loading the inside of a trailer with boxes. And 
here is another semi-trailer, leaving a wharf. It's full of fresh fish. Semi-trailers drive all over the countryside, past mountains, across grassy plains, and over levees. They deliver their goods along the way. These trucks are at a sawmill. And this semi-trailer has been loaded with tree logs. The driver sits very high when controlling the truck. That must be fun. Have you seen a semi-trailer before? They're very big, aren't they? Did you know, in Australia, some really big semi-trailers have several trailers? These are called road trains. One, two, three trailers. Wow, look how long a road train is. Hooroo. To see more things that go, click on the videos above. And don't forget to subscribe. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a mine before? A mine is a place where machines dig up minerals. There is lots of activity at the mine today. There are excavators digging up coal and a huge yellow dump truck. The yellow dump truck is so big it towers over everything with large wheels and a bed at the back for loading earth. It would be hard to find a bigger truck. This means it can move lots and lots with every load. The bed is empty now. Oops, be careful of the rocks. The enormous excavator scoops up the earth, spins, then opens, dropping the load into the dump truck's bed. The dump truck is now full of rocks and dirt. The bed lifts up, and the load pours out the back. Wow! Do you wish you had a sand pit that big? Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. I bet you've seen a police car before. With bright flashing lights and a noisy siren. It goes eeyore, 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 eeyore. But did you know there are police four-wheel drives too? And big police vans full of police? There are police bikes that zip around. With flashing lights and whistles, they show important cars the way. There are police boats with blue and yellow checks. And black police boats that patrol the rivers. While there are police helicopters that soar above. and police emergency response trucks that help people in trouble. There are even police horses with helpful police riders 
wearing bright yellow jackets and blue helmets. For Arsenal Tube Station, you can enter from the other side and you filter to your right. Flippity clop, away they go. In their special police force truck. Can you think of any other police vehicles? Uru! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today we are looking at ambulances. Hands up if you know what an ambulance looks like. That's right! Ambulances are large vehicles with bright flashing lights and a loud siren. Just like a fire engine or a police car. Ambulances are used to pick up sick or injured people, usually in an emergency. They arrive very quickly. Sometimes the police and fire engines help too. They then take the people to hospital. In the hospital, doctors and nurses work to make the people better. Can you say ambulance? It's difficult to say, isn't it? Let's try. Am, bu, lance. Ambulance. Very good. Did you know there are even ambulances at the airport? Huru. Feel free to comment below. What would you like to see next? And don't forget to subscribe.